first stop right here. Yo, no boost right now. This man just handed me a J and was like, yo, give this a, a test. And if you like it, then buy it. If not, like, whatever, enjoy it. I'm like, what? That's insane, bro. This is a $15 pre-roll. So we're gonna just chief it, boof it. If I fuck with it, we'll just pick up here then. Yeah, that shit was fucking garbage. We just tossed it. Fuck Delta 8. About to get a proper cup of Joe to wash out that bad taste, bro. Just waiting for the Uber. I tore that bathroom up in the shop too. No shame. All right, we're walking to the dispensary because the bus takes too damn long. Back to the Delta 8 shit. That was pretty dumb of me to like put that in my system without doing proper research. But it, like a quick Google search, everything I read was fucked. Everything was negative, like adverse effects. Yeah, I came in with no knowledge of Delta 8. I quickly learned that shit is trash as fuck. Do not buy that shit, bro. Can Can't forget the bev. 350. Bacon, egg, and cheese on an everything bagel. Yerd. Yo. Tap in. Cheesh. That's what I'm talking about, bro. There's nothing like a $3.50 bagel, bro. Let's keep it moving. Jack got his on a raisin bagel. Cinnamon. Cheers. Oh my God, I'm feeling so good right now after eating a fucking $3.50 bagel. We still have a lunch reservation in a little bit too. God damn, that was such a waste of time. The dispensary like wasn't there. It gave us an address to like some, some person's crib, bro. Got me fucked up. That was Hanon. Sorry I didn't really talk. It was like very tight and like weird in there a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see that. Right there, that stain right there. That was from eating fucking udon. Ah, oh, sad. So we're about to go to uh, Renew Finds. It's a furniture store. I was trying to go last time I was in New York, but didn't pan out.
All right, that was Renew Finds. She was just explaining to me that they do ship to Chicago through like U-Ship and shit. And they're like running a 15% discount at the moment. A lot of cool, expensive furniture there. All right, back at the Airbnb. I'm gonna hold off on showing you guys the Airbnb because we haven't really like unpacked and settled in yet. So you'll get a tour of the Airbnb at some point, but probably not today. Just freshened up, washed my face, applied some deodorant, tried to get this stain out even, combed my hair, yeah. So we're gonna head back out. We're gonna hit up a vintage shop followed by another furniture shop and then a proper, proper Korean dinner. So I'm super excited about that. So yeah, let's go. Do you like that? Oh, oh Pico. This is kind of everything that I grabbed. This is sick back here. And these. So I'm just gonna try everything on and see what works, what doesn't. Yo, this is kind of flea. Sleeves fit, I can zip it up. Yeah, this is nice. I don't know if it fits my style though. This is a maybe. All right, this one I can fit but it's really tight in this armpit area. I'll show you in a second, but this reminds me of like Craig Green number. The cinch on the back, you see that? And the pleats, vertical pleats. This is a vintage Fruit of the Looms. It reminds me of my Mac ST. Recently I added the ring onto my chain. Pretty cool. But this is too big, bro. Way too big. This one's also really big, but keep the embroideries. So some Japanese dude in LA buys the military surplus and adds these on there. And they've been a hit apparently. So it zips down. And then there's snap buttons. Down here too. Oh, it's a little big. It's really big. I don't know how that's a regular medium. I wear medium. Last but not least, look at this thing. The sleeves fit perfect. I kind of want to bag this up. This shit kind of tough, yo. <laughs> this kind of tough. Sheesh. I think they might have used it for their like archives. Woo, just made some purchases. That was crazy, man. The place is lit. This guy's a bad influence on me, man. Fuck, bro. I've been following them on Instagram for quite some time, so it's pretty, like, sick that I get to visit their physical store, you know?
curtains. So it's a calendar designed by Giorgio Adela. That's cool. This one day. Off to dinner now. Hi, cute baby. You're ready. And this one. All right. They make their own macaroni too. They make this shit themselves. This is the chest. No, that's the chestnut. This is the fig. So cheers. How is that? It's pretty good. I like that one more. I like mine more. He was like, he was like, yeah, that's fine, like, like, have fun. Oh my god, Always room for dessert. Tofu ice cream. Sauce. That was mad sauce. Not bad at all. 107. Do rag activities. That was one of the best meals I've ever ate in my entire life. No fucking cap. I'm so satisfied, but I'm so full. Just ready to shower. Enjoy the Airbnb. Smoke a nice BZ. You feel me? Unlock that, John. You're. Bro, we just dismantled the whole fucking window because we couldn't unlock this door. It was a tricky door. All right, we have a chair here, table, another chair. This is Jack's room. This one's my room. We have a little couch, a little sofa, another little coffee table, another chair, some plants, and then... Look at this shit. This is what I'm talking about, bro. All right, we just took a little booth sesh. There's a reason why I don't record sparking up because it goes on the internet and it's not like illegal or anything like that. It's just not a good look. And then, you know, the OG watches the vlogs too. So 
we can't have her, you know, bugging out. But I was just thinking back at uh, my drive home after that date and how I was bumping Pop Smoke. I think this song is so underrated. So I, I just want to bring shine some light, you know, show it the respect it deserves. You feel me? It's called Diana, right? But this one verse, I'm just like, damn, like <laughs> I had to listen to it and like lock in for a second. I even like ran it back a couple times. I was like, damn, that's kind of tough, you know? Let me find that verse. Cause that shit crazy, yo. He said, don't let me in it. I might just breed you, bro. Listen to this. She would look good as a teacher. He said, home run, home run like Jeter. Don't make me catch you cheating. Beat her. I was like, God damn. <laughs> that shit kind of tough. Bro, but like, just imagine like you're buzzing off the Rittenhouse pack and then that verse comes on. You're like, you gotta give it like a, like a double take, you know? All right, that wraps up today's vlog. Hold up. I feel like I didn't, I didn't convey how hard that verse was. So let me dissect it and pick it apart a little bit more, you know? He said, don't let me in it. I might just breed you like, like she's an animal, you know? Like she's cattle, livestock, bro. <laughs> That's jeez. Then he said, she says she want to be a teacher, yeah. And then he goes, in my head, she would look good as a teacher. She would look good as a teacher. So he said, fuck your ambitions. Like, I'm thinking about how you're about to look as a teacher, you know? That was tough, bro. He said, home run, home run, like Jeter, whatever, right? But then, don't make me catch you cheating. Beat her. Like, bro, this man's, like, advocating for, like, do domestic abuse, bro. Like... And he just kind of slipped that in. Like, if you don't listen, you like you didn't you, you didn't even catch what he said. You feel me? Like that was tough. Give this man his flowers, man. His fucking flowers. R.I.P. Pop. I'll see you in the next one. Next one, I'll show you, give you a little Airbnb tour because this is a nice little joint. And then I'll show you what I packed. And we just have another jam-packed, busy-ass day tomorrow as well. So I'll see you in the next one.